Okay, they made us believe that. Okay, so I made you believe. They, 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 they made me believe. Yeah. They made me believe that when you're done with school, with your first class, second class, any any class you have, that there's a job waiting for you, for you to take on. I don't, I really agree with what you say, Shab. But personally, what I do, what I hate about, what it's like about Nigeria would be. So today we'll be doing the Nigerian so hey guys it's your girl beatrice Eden achibong socially known as blue beatrice achibong so we have with me again Gabriel. Yay. so today we'll be doing the nigeria time stay tuned and enjoy it okay i have two nigerian names actually one is ma b and it means bee's mother <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bees like the bees that produce honey. Yeah, Beatrice's mother. Ma B Ma Ma B Ma B like Beatrice's mother. I also have another one, Inene Sit, which In means oh. sweetheart. Mm. <laughs> the sweet is in my heart. Yes, sweetheart. Okay, so my name is Ini Obong, mm. which means God's time is the best. <laughs> Ma B okay well i don't have a nigerian pet name because at home they just called me any or if i had done something wrong they probably call me in your bong <laughs> okay i was born in akwa ibom oh wow yes the southern part in nigeria and i was bred in Port of akwa ibom. um it was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. <laughs> hey, this is a disgrace. Oh my goodness. Okay, calm down, calm down. Like chill, relax, chillax. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. I was born in Ibiono at Kwai Bom and it's in Ibiono Ibom. Okay. And I was bred in Port Harcourt. Nice. Anyways, I was born and bred in Kaduna State, KD, I mean the Crocodile City, <laughs> which is located in the northern part of Nigeria, aka Niger. <laughs> I'm a mixed breed. My mom is from the north and my dad is from the south. Please, where are you from? The north Plateau State and the south Aquaibo State. Where is your father from? My dad is from Kwai Bom. Okay. According to Nigeria, where you, according to Nigerian culture, where are you from? My mother's place. <laughs> so what language? Ibibio. Ibibio. <laughs> She's from Plateau, but her local language is our original local language is Ibibio. You guys, you guys get that? Anyways, <laughs> I am a full Kwai Bom girl. My dad and my mom are both from Kwai Bom State. That is the reason why I am a full product of what yeah. love like love <laughs> making and my local dialect is eb beer okay my local nigerian dish is epan kukuo and the nigerian popular jollof rice Ooh, girl. <laughs> uh my favorite nigerian dish first of all the first the first one pair is fisherman soup with Fufu, homemade oh, fufu, and my second favorite Nigerian dish would be adikai kong with pounded oh, yam. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I am a tikka kwai bum girl. Yeah. Up. My favorite Nigerian jam is you don't hit my car or you go and hey. Tell me you don't bash my car or you go and <laughs> Well, mine would be. She's not even a man joke. Like if you saw, see if you were a 1990 child, hey. oh, any birthday party you go for, that hey. was that man was the man with the Coco max. Below. Hey, Coco below, hey, below, hey, below, hey. Below. hey. <laughs> below. I live in Port Harcourt. Okay. So I live in Kaduna State, like I said, the crocodile city. Okay. I love Nigerian cultural diversity. I love their food. I love their mm. tradition, and Makes I love sense. um their national anthem. Mm. <laughs> 
for me i would say I, the fact that nigeria is not a place for lazy people uh nigeria has so many cultural like there's so many cultures you can learn from you know, there's so many dishes you can try like you can't even go to the north and say you just want to try like test dishes there are so so many like you're from plaster states here how many dishes do you guys have there we have like i, I can't even come have a lot so first of all nigeria will make you an entrepreneur nigeria would make you super smart nigeria will make you like i don't know how to put it like outside the box think outside like you can't be a nigerian and go abroad and fuck up it's not possible you're gonna just have sense you understand so if you're never been to nigeria i actually oblige you to please go there as soon as this whole covid 19 is all over by god's special grace try your best to visit nigeria as soon as possible, possible. okay so i've been to aquaibo what's that called lagos um benue um hold on i've been i've, I've passed through benin you've passed through or you went to benin how many things have you <laughs> been passed through, through benin have you, so you went to benin no i didn't go to benin, benin. Passed through no benin. You, you've had passed through so many states <laughs> like that how many states okay, have you okay, been to? okay onisha you've been to onisha yes i've been to onisha and also um uh i think i think that's all okay that's all yeah okay so how many states have i been to first of all like i always so i was like mm. how many states have i been to first of all i've been to kaduna state i've been to kanu state i've been to sokoto state i have been to bauchi state <laughs> wow <laughs> i'm looking at the notes first okay. after bauchi wait i've been to plateau i've actually been to Asti. i've been to plateau state uh for the north where else i've been to plateau i've been to lagos Ogawa. state i've been to ogun state no i've been to ogun state i've been to oshu state i've been to all your states uh for for the east which are which are actually the Igbos. i've been to enugu states uh i've been to enugu i've been to edo states i've been to Enu edo state that's 11 yeah yeah i've been to um i've been to edo states then Obviously, Aquaibum State. I've been to Port Harcourt. That's twelve. That's thirteen. Mm -hmm. I've been to Port Harcourt. I think that's practically. I've been to Calabar. That's for. I've, I've gone to Calabar also. I forgot. I've so been, that's your, yeah, that's your sixth. Yeah, I've been to Calabar. So yeah, I just so, remember. I've been to Calabar. Basically, yep. Political dishonesty. Yeah. Why? i mean wait first before you answer that question i mean when it comes to political dishonesty i feel every nation passes through that process well, i feel or uh, is still going through that issue um i know every country is passing through that issue but i feel that of nigeria is kind of more it's, it's, too... it, it, it's broad because okay a lot of young people have been forced to become entrepreneur because um the government promised us jobs after school but but I, I think that's wrong i feel we i feel we human beings feel entitled the government did not write anywhere in the constitution that once you're done with your education, whether BSc, MSc, or PhD, that they are going to give you a job. You see, that's one thing they made us believe, like in school, that when you're done with school, that there's a job waiting for nobody, you out there. Nobody told me that. We, they didn't tell you that. That somebody that is a job. <laughs> wait, like they didn't, no, one, no one told me that. Like once you're done with school, there's a job waiting for you. No. Okay. Yeah, they, obviously you, you're going for you to get a job. You're going to have to qualify and all of this. Things. But yes. the government did not say. Okay, they made us believe that. Okay, so it made you believe. They, no, they, 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 they didn't make somebody, me believe. Sure. They made me believe that when you're done with school, with your first class, second class, any any class you have, that there's a job waiting for you, for you to take on. And also, you see, that's what we have a lot of young people after school. They go into um social vices because there's no job in the country mm -hmm. if you don't if you don't tax yourself to become an entrepreneur then you are on the losing side or you have to do what you have to do and that's so bad so that's what i, well, like. so I don't i really agree with what you say Sha. but personally what i do what i i do what i hate about or dislike about nigeria would be electricity it's it's see it's it's disheartening because i don't think the government you know the people in the high you know the, you know the people are the people are the orgas at the top. top i'm not sure they know what it's what people pass you to get fuel i mean first of all how much how many you have to like get money to actually get a good generator then that the sound in me especially those my class my nipple oh my god like, you see it's heartbreaking because first of all we're actually not in like imagine when in nigeria there was no light right now we'll definitely have to on the oh drain right? right and then 
see that's all that is annoying see for me electricity is the most one thing i would see anywhere anytime i just like about nigeria i don't know the government should try their best to do something even though i know they haven't done it all my years that have been alive but that would be what i would say i dislike about nigeria the most okay to add to that what you're saying talk about the government giving electricity or whatsoever have you thought of solar system do you know you can you as an individual can go set up a solar system and i listen do you understand my point my point is the gov as in the government owes a country to produce lights now when you have light we would pay for it it's not like it's not, it's not free we're paying for it solar panel is money like there's there's no way you go at solar panel is twenty thousand naira. let's be real is any solar panel is 20k there if is you now, buy go to 20k you see so she's talking about you no know, solar panel is a very 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 good innovative idea but look at it every like you see p9 the same we see nigerians who go to another man's country would we'll see light and we appreciate it that's not it is only in nigeria that somebody you own light leave it for months like from january to december why there's not even light even when you pay for light you don't get the light there are people there are places in nigeria that have, they, have, they don't know what that's sad. phcn light looks like they're always is either you're going to your neighbor's house to go you know on even this big prep that I watch not going to your neighbor's room to go and watch it that's let's true. be real so you get like <laughs> Bye, Ja. What's up? But I still love you guys, yo. Abia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to. We are going to that car right now. Okay. Okay. Abia. Mm -hmm. Adamawa. Mm -hmm. Abiokuta. Mm -hmm. No, 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 Jesus. Abiokuta. No, I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Abia. Mm -hmm. Adamawa. Mm -hmm. Akwaibo. Mm -hmm. Enugu, uh -huh. Oyo, uh -huh. Lagos, uh -huh. Abuja. Uh -huh. Ab is Abuja a state or is it capital? <laughs> what? Is Abuja a state in Nigeria or is it capital? A Abuja is a state, please. Remove Abuja, I'm not sure on that state. <laughs> so you're on six. Okay. Um, we have um, Castina. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We have Plateau. Uh -huh. We have um, Ronu. Bro, bro, bro. What is your bro? <laughs> so last but not least, uh, we have um um Nasarawa. So you didn't even mention the states that you live in. You were born and bred. Imagine. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to me. So we have Kaduna states. We have Kanu states. We have Sokoto. We have Akwaibom. We have Portakot. So we have River states. We have Cross River states. We have. Have I mentioned Lagos? We have Lagos, we have Oyo, we have Ogu, we have Oshu. Oshu states. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zen, like it. Zen. The sun, they shine from my face, and if they pepper me for body. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to say it, Sasha. But, you should, I don't go talk anything, I should not talk her own. But, which I will feature you to say, more than I don't forget to wait to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Bless you. December 2019. I thought she was about to say 2009. <laughs> uh, last, my last time in Nigeria was February 2020. Yep, just before the COVID 19. Yes. Okay. I knew about Koforodo. I made the umbrella. So, what does that mean? Who is in that house? Have you eaten? Okay, <laughs> so ain't me a carrier in your bone, Gabriel, and channel me at the academy. So, I'm going to subscribe. I just said my name is in your bone, Gabriel, and this channel is all mine. And please do not forget to subscribe. I think we're talking about subscribe. Yeah, so, please, please subscribe. <laughs> I need your subscription, please. One, just one, just one, but one, one popular, popular, one, one very popular sauce. Okay, we, it's everywhere. Okay, we have mortar and pistol. Mm, that's true. And please, even if you're in Banana Island, this thing has to be popular. Know that broom, that brown one that that is one one. Mm -hmm. The broom that mm -hmm. can sweep, I can sweep anything. Even your, it can, it can, it can, it can sweep your future away. It can sweep your destiny. <laughs> that broom, that broom is everywhere. <laughs> like I don't know, but that broom, like she said, mother and people, like those are very important. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> please bring us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. Thank I love you, you so much.
much. If you watched this video up to this point, you are the real VVIP, and we love you so much. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel, and do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section, and do not forget to like this post and tell us what you feel about this content. And do not forget to go check her out. She is a vibe. She's a mood. She's everything. Like she's a hey. vibe. Like. To the vibe, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for subscribing to my channel. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do that over here. Please. And I want to say thank you for watching this video up to this time. You're the real VVIP. And stay glued to my channel because I'll be bringing you lots and lots of amazing videos. videos. I love you guys. We love you. See you. Bye. Bye.